Here is a brief review of day 2 of the F1 testing for Mercedes. Unlike yesterday where George Russell started the morning session, Lewis Hamilton was first on track for day 2 of testing, with him predominantly using the C3 prototype tire compound for long runs. He was also fitted a new aero take on the rear end of the car. During testing, Toto Wolff came out and said that Lewis has been telling the team that the car is out of balance this morning. It's hot and they've not managed to find the right setup yet. And regarding Lewis pushing the limits on the rear of the car, Toto responded, it's not the driver who's overdriving the tires or pushing it, it's the car who doesn't give him enough rear grip. This is something we need to sort out over the course of the journey today. When asked about what they've made out of Red Bull and Ferrari, the Mercedes team principal stated, they're fast, no surprise there. But said it's very difficult to judge what the gap to them is as everybody is playing around with fuel loads and hiding engine modes, so you can't really judge. Questions have been asked about Mercedes' performance over the current testing period, and Toto confirmed that Mercedes is also still hiding a little bit of performance on their test runs quoting, I think you need to wait for the three-day running, also for the softer tires to come onto the car in the afternoon. Which is more representative for Bahrain. Regarding the optimism within the team for the fast-approaching upcoming season, Wolf noted, there's a feeling of excitement in the team because we got it wrong last year, we finished third, and we definitely want to fight for a world championship. That's the aim, but you need to stay humble also. Mentally it's always difficult to start with a car that was not on par last year, and hopefully see something that's better, this is where the excitement comes from. But, equally, we want to get it right. And when asked about porpoising, he said, the porpoising is gone, essentially, yes. To sum up Lewis testing for day 2, he completed a total of 72 laps, finishing with P8 in his session, with a time of a 1 minute point three three dot nine fifty four. According to AMUs, Mercedes is already working on a new rear wing for the start of the season. It should make the car faster on the straights. Mercedes will also bring some minor updates next week and we'll get to see if the W14 can balance top speed with cornering downforce. Regarding George Russell's session, it was sadly cut short to only 26 laps due to a hydraulics issue, which took the total laps completed for Mercedes on day 2 of testing to only 98 laps. Besides the hydraulic issue Russell suffered, Toto Wolff revealed that there was a massive loss of downforce on the front axle in the data. However, the mechanics could not find the reason for this during the day. He claimed, we feel a bit lost because we don't know where we stand. At night, the W14 is to be completely dismantled in order to get to the bottom of the problem, as a decisive sensor had also failed, which would have been helpful in this matter.